so aggressive. <laughs> All right, welcome to Art Your Heart Out, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's a good day because it's art day. All right, so uh, today we are going to be painting a fun little sea turtle with watercolors and um, special with a special guest, white crayon. But we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> special <laughs> guest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to be painting today. So really quickly, I'm going to lay out the supplies. So the supplies that you're going to need are a piece of watercolor paper, yeah. as well as two cups of water. And the reason you need two is because one is going to be your dirty water cup where you rinse off your brush when there's a color on it that you don't need anymore. And then the other one is gonna be your clean water cup because sometimes when you're using watercolor, you wanna throw some clean water onto your paint and you don't want it to be muddy. And of course you're gonna need your watercolor paint. Okay. Yep. You got and your watercolor paint brush. And do, 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 do. what am I missing? Oh, that white crayon I mentioned. We're going to use a white crayon today. We're getting yeah. weird. It's going to be a good time. Special guest. Special guest. Let's make me laugh. That's going to be that's going to be the theme today. When people are ready, I'll be like, show me your special guest. Show me. <laughs> Where's the special guest? OK, it's really funny. Uh, pencil yeah. and an eraser. Okay. And you guys have a pencil and eraser, right? <laughs> pencil and eraser. And then if you need to protect your surface, your table, go ahead and grab something to protect it, to cover it. Could be a paper bag, could be a plastic bag, could be a tablecloth you don't care about. So if you're worried about protecting your table, get something to do that. And oh, the last thing, is paper towels in case we get messy up in here because um, I know I do that, which is why I'm going to grab my entire roll of paper towels right now while you grab yours. Finding Nemo, there's a sea turtle. Yes, Andrea. I'll tell you what, y'all. Today, I'm going to play a dangerous game. Uh -oh. It's called One Half Paper Towel. <laughs> Good thing I brought the whole rollover. Living on the edge. <laughs> very, very exciting. Love to live on the danger zone, on the side of danger. I don't know. There's a there's a common phrase that I'm forgetting right now that belongs I'd right laugh there. Laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> that maybe it's that. That's the one. Okay, so once you have all your supplies, we'll give people a couple minutes, but I also just wanna talk about art for a second since that's what we're about to do. Um, so just remember, this is art, right? And it's your creation and everybody's art is gonna look different. And that's one of our favorite things about art. So we wanna, it's gonna be so cool at the end when we're done painting together to see how different everyone's turtles and scenes are. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, that's one of our favorite things about it. If when we're painting, I'm using brown and you wanna use red or yellow or green or a color I've never heard of before, go for it. You don't need anyone's permission to make your art your own and to make it different and special in any way that you want. I don't need to give you permission if you want to draw a sun or a cloud or a gerbil. I, you know, it is your scene, your art. So every turtle ahead. needs a gerbil. Yeah. <laughs> so do your thing. Um, make it, make it your own. If there's something special you want to add, something you want to do differently, I'm just here. I'm just suggestions, right? I'm just, this is what you can do, but also sky's the limit. And then for anyone who is out there helping our artists and supporting our artists, uh, please remember that uh, this is their art, right? This is their art, this is their moment. If you wanna paint, 
come along, get your own piece of paper and join us. We love that. Um, but we're just here to support and not here to take over because we want to see what our artists are bringing to the table. Today. Sound good? All I right. Can't stop, I can't stop saying every turtle needs a gerbil. It's just like what's in my head now. <laughs> it really has a nice ring to it. I'm, it I'm really glad does. that's what happened to come out. <laughs> It has a good ring to it. Um, Jen, okay. Can I use a straw, please? Can you do what? Can I use a straw for like coloring? Use, can you use a straw? Well, I mean, there's no color in a straw. We used straw to blow the paint around last time, but yeah. you can do whatever you want. It's your project. All right. So if you have all your supplies, go ahead and show us your special guest white crayon let them make an appearance so that we know you're ready how often do you get to use your white crayon easter I, easter <laughs> right it's like once a year so this is a really I special do, moment i don't have a, i don't have a white well i just want it Oh, looks good. Yeah, yeah. Any light color would almost work, right, Katie? Like yeah. Yellow, if you had to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I've seen just about everybody's crayon. So let's do this thing. First thing that we're going to want to do is draw our turtle, right? So go ahead and grab your pencil and your eraser if you think you're going to want that. Now, uh, remember when you're drawing on your watercolor paper, you wanna draw it really lightly, just lightly and just enough to see it, right? It doesn't need to be really dark or anything like that. The reason we wanna draw it lightly is because when we go to paint over it, you probably don't want your pencil to show through the paint. So we're just gonna draw really lightly. I'm gonna draw darkly dark darkly i'm gonna draw dark so that you can see it but this isn't my watercolor paper so just want to clarify that i'm just drawing dark so you can see it i've got my light drawing somewhere else okay let's see Whew. if we can get this in view well is that good yeah okay yeah, that was so, cool. let me spotlight you. Hold, please. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's lots of Katie for you. I'm like, now I got, <laughs> I want to <laughs> change that for me. Gallery. There we go. Okay. So the first thing we want to draw for our turtle is the shell, right? That's kind of like the big main part of a turtle. So you can just go ahead and draw a nice big oval on your page. Oh, I didn't draw it dark, like I said I would. <laughs> draw a nice big oval for that shell. Um, Katie, I have a question. Yeah. So um, are we doing anything around this turtle? Because I didn't know if, so how much room to um, leave. Just water. So it's totally up to you on how much water you want in the picture and how much turtle you want. Okay. I did mine pretty big. <laughs> but that's total choice. Once you have your big oval, just inside of your big oval, draw one more just around the edge. So you just want a tiny space. You're just drawing one more oval that's a little bit smaller than your first oval. Because if you've ever seen a turtle, their shell kind of has a little edge on it. So that's what that is. And when you've got your two, your two shell ovals, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or make your special guest appearance. 
to let me know that you're ready. I see Rolly, Lauren, Rydell, Kiyoshi, Alex, Momo, Rylan. And if you have your two ovals drawn while we give everyone else a chance to finish it up, you can start thinking about what you might want to name your turtle. You don't have to give your turtle a name. I just think it's fun. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is decide which end of your oval is going to be the head and which one is going to have the butt, right? Because turtles have little tails. So this is going to be my butt end over here. And I'm just going to do a little rounded triangle bit coming off for the tail. See that? It's just a little stubby one. How come everything that's like the butt of an animal is so cute? Bunny butt, <laughs> little stubby tail thing, little turtle. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It can't be denied. <laughs> Once you've got your tail there, you can go to the opposite side where the head's going to be and you can draw your head. You can start by just with a little neck and then it kind of opens up into a head. It's kind of like a rounded diamond with a neck instead of the final point. But it could also just kind of be a circle. All turtles are different. Just like mm -hmm. us. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. We'll get this little guy swimming in no time. Just not yet. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you have your head and your tail, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or make a special guest appearance. Let me know. Special guest appearance. <laughs> Rydell, Alec, I oh, see man. you, Kiyoshi, Gabby, Rylan, Lauren, Momo. I don't know why it's just making me, I'm just sitting here laughing at special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Made a special guest. My favorite part is that the gerbil is a special guest. Gerbil, yeah. <laughs> he could be the special guest. I could, we could I have suppose. more than one. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I think really just you and I are like thinking this is funny. <laughs> 
as per usual. Hey, you know, that's that's two people laughing. That's enough for me. It's one of my better track records. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move us on to some legs. So the back fins or flippers or whatever they're called on a turtle, let me know if you know, <laughs> um, are not super long. They're kind of short and rounded at the end. So it's just kind of a nice rounded curve. See that? A little kicker back there. Boop. Exactly. That's the noise they make. <laughs> and then you can do the same thing on the other side of your tail. And they don't have to be the same. They can be a little different. My two arms aren't the same. Neither are my two legs. It's all good. A little difference can actually make them look more realistic. And once you're done with your legs, go ahead, make your special guest appearance or give me a thumbs up either way. Uh-huh, Alex, Kiyoshi, Momo, Gabby, Rylan, Rydell, Lauren. Rolly, looking good. All right. So the next part are those arms. Now the arms are a little bit longer, so they curve a bit more, right? This turtle's got places to go, so he's going to need some bigger, some bigger flippers in the front. So you just kind of do a longer curve up there. Longer curvy bit. Boom. Turtle-tastic. <laughs> Turtle power. What's the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle song? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Turtles in a half shell. Turtle power. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's the one. <laughs> I don't even know how I know that. <laughs> I'm really impressed by that. I was not expecting that. Oh, and Katie, oh, their, their favorite food is pizza. Pizza. <laughs> oh, man. Now I want pizza. I'll tell you what, I'm hungry for early dinner today. Maybe you could just have two dinners. That's right. I'm about to have a snack. It's, about, it's like Ooh. happy hour or something. Appetizers. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. And you can just do the same thing on the other side for those, for those flippies. This is a good angle. It's hard to get them both in there. It's pretty good. We can see them. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy to help. You're a good artist, Katie. What's up? You're a good artist. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I also didn't want to show you. I just showed Jenny. Get ready to have your mind blown. Oh, I'm ready. As ready as I could ever be to lose my mind. There you go, Katie. Oh, yeah, I saw that earlier when you were showing it. That's yeah. a turtle. I know that dude. All right. Um, you can give me a thumbs up, your special guest appearance, whatever feels right to you. Let me know you're ready. Alex, Kiyoshi, Momo, Gabby, Lauren, Amanda, or no, is that a wave or are you drawing? I think you're drawing. 
She's trying. I see. Tricky. It's a tricky angle. Crane your neck just right. Well, that's what I'm doing to see everybody. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> All right. I feel like people are staring at me. That's the real, that's the real key. That's when you know. Okay. So, um, so the next thing that we want to do is draw the design on our turtle shell. Um, so you can draw whatever design you want, of course. If you want to draw the design I'm doing, I'm going to go with classic turtle shell design. So first thing to keep in mind, when you're drawing your turtle shell design, this is where we're gonna use our crayon. You wanna use your white crayon, so it's gonna be hard to see when you're drawing it, but that's okay. What you can do is you can kind of tilt it towards the light and you can kind of see it shine. That's a really helpful tip, but also again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Turtle shells aren't perfect. So. I'm drawing in pencil right now so you can see it, but this is my practice paper, not my watercolor paper. You want to draw your design, whatever it may be, in crayon on your shell. So we can have our fun, our fun magic trick. So um, the design, the classic turtle shell design has a bunch of hexagons on it. Hexagon is a shape with six sides. So it's like a, is it a soccer ball? Yeah, it's like a soccer ball. So you just draw one line and then one line down from each of those. And then another one. And you close it off. It doesn't have to be perfect helpful to start with just one in the middle and then you can start drawing other ones that are touching your middle one so that's the top of one it's like a honeycomb for bees or a soccer ball or dare I say, a turtle shell. Ah, uh -huh. you wild uh -huh. woman. It's like making puzzle pieces fit together. Or a countertop. Did you say, or a countertop? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah.
I'm done. Woohoo! You're a speedster with those shapes. Can I draw the face? Sure, if you want to. Okay, so take your time. I know I know the uh, the shell design can take a minute, but when you're ready, go ahead and give us your special guest appearance or a thumb so I know that you're ready. Now all I can think about is pizza, you guys. Uh, well, I'm still stuck on gerbils, so you're doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Alex. Oh, I will say, Amanda, just so you know, um, the shell design, all these uh, hexagons in here, those are drawn with crayon if you're doing the watercolor like we are. Everything she, else is in pencil. She's just hanging out. I'm going to watch, I think going to watch the YouTube video later. Yeah, Amanda? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, she's not going to try and catch up. Okay. I figured, I was like, and if you, if you want to know one thing, that would be the thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. Does anybody know their turtle name yet? <laughs> so silly stuff. What about silly stuff? We always change our names and silly stuff for different categories. And I when you oh, said yeah. what's your turtle name, I was like, oh, we should figure out what our turtle names are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got to have at least one Shelly, you know? Oh, you got to. And a Sheldon, right? Yeah. Yep. Crush, classic. We're mm -hmm. going to have a crush. We got to have a squirt, too. Pretty sure. Taking all of my self control not to just start singing about pizza. <laughs> Did it never you are going it? to love my painting. Ooh. Oh, yeah? I'm excited. Gabby, we're going to work on bursting in and interrupting. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, cute, Lauren. Nice, I like your turtle. <laughs> so cute. Love it. So if you're done with your hexagons, um, the next thing that you can do is in this little empty space between those two big ovals you drew for the shell, you can just go around and draw a couple lines like this. You even see that? There's a lot of lines happening right now. <laughs> um, just a couple little lines. That's the design I'm doing, at least. Of course, you do... You do whatever design calls to you. Because of course this is 
heart your heart out. So you best be listening to your heart. Uh-huh. Listen to your heart. <laughs> Oh, and those little lines I did, that that is also with your crayon, not your pencil. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Well, good thing it's pencil. You can always erase it or you can leave it. It's up to you. So when you're done with your shell design, remember to give me a thumbs up or make a special guest appearance with your crayon. <laughs> Momo's ready. Okay, more time it is. <laughs> Rolly, if you're asking a question, uh, I can't hear you because you're muted. Uh, is it is it drawing a design with pencil fine? Yeah, if you don't a have crayon. a crayon. The, the, um, so the reason that we're doing it with crayon is that when we paint over crayon, paint um, doesn't stick to the crayon. So it'll leave white lines between the paint. But if you don't want that, or if you don't have a crayon, then that's totally fine. You could just draw it. Really, do you have a yellow crayon you could use? Or like a light green crayon? Yeah, I brought a white crayon. Oh, okay. That's an exciting clock. I think it's wind chimes. I think it's really wind chimes. Oh, uh, okay. All right, I'm checking in again. Give me a thumbs up or make your special guest appearance if um, you are ready for the next step. Momo, Rydell, Kiyoshi. Okay, okay. We got a couple more. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. You know, what's fun is while you're drawing this, 
there is a perfect song that you can sing to yourself. <laughs> you know what it is, right? Just keep drawing, just keep drawing, just keep <laughs> drawing, drawing, drawing. What do we do? We draw, draw, draw. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. I'm my little Wow, Alex, you're done. Okay, very good. Who's still drawing a turtle platter? Chloe and Gabby. Gabby, I thought you moved on. You moved, you're still doing your pattern? Oh. Oh. I thought we were done with the... No, I think Katie's waiting for people finishing their turtle pattern. Okay. What's the next part, Katie? So, uh, the next part is going to be switching over to paint. We're going to come back to drawing with the crayon while paint dries. But right now, if you're ready for the next step, go ahead and get your paint brush and open up your paint. And what we're going to do is paint just the shell. If you if you want to follow along with the way that we're doing it with the crayon, only paint the shell right now. So I'm going to dip into my water and I'm going to use brown for my shell. I'm going to go classic turtle. <laughs> I almost started painting this. Oh. And it's really fun because when you start painting your shell, you'll notice that anywhere you put the crayon, the paint doesn't go there. So you have your turtle shell design. And it comes to life. How cool is that? That's okay. I'm a I'm impressed enough for all of us. It <laughs> <laughs> is so cool. My right crayon is showing. Your white if not, crayon. you don't see oh, the lines where the crayon is. Crayon? Yeah. Yeah, white crayon. 
What do you use? A pencil? <laughs> you need the wax of the crayon. That's why you use the crayon. <laughs> Oop. You can start over. You know how to do it. It's so neat. because you think you know what your design looks like <laughs> and then you paint over it and you see what it really looks like Yeah. I, I Ooh, look at that. Um, look at that. It looks you know, good. This for a lot of It looks north and south. Yeah, this it looks great. Oh, nice. Yep. Good job. Good job. Lauren, let's see yours again. I saw you hold it up. Hold it up again. Ooh, so fun. Chicken Nugget, is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I can't hear you, baby. It's muted. Unmute yourself. Muted so there you go. That is my my game for and uh Say that again, that's, that's why. My, that's what my caregiver came up with. Oh, okay, good, that's funny. It's <laughs> a funny name for the turtle. <laughs> now, if uh, you have a little extra time because your first layer of shell paint is pretty dry, what you can do is you can go in back into your brown and you can put another layer just on that little rim part around the edges of your shell to make it a bit darker so that you can tell that part of the shell is just a little bit different than the rest of the shell. Good looking shell, Katie. Thank you. Dennis, I like your turtle. He's fun. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, good job. I like your color I'm choices. Brown, brown in there. Yeah, it looks good. Good job. Mm. Yeah. Also, feel free to experiment with color a little bit, you know? I threw on kind of a golden yellow on top of my brown. Don't be shy. Another thing you can do to help make your shell look, um, look more 3D is you can dip back into that brown and add a little bit to the bottom of your hexagons, to the bottom of your shapes, and it'll help make the shell look 3D. Where's the body? The shell is kind of the body. I meant the head and arms and tail. We're going, 
we're going back to do that because that's another crayon moment. Again, you gotta warn me. I did. I said, I said, if you're following along, only paint the shell. That's exactly what I said, quoting myself, darling. And it was your choice to go ahead. Always your choice. You can just grab a crayon and do another one if you want to experience the crayon part, or you can have yours that you've made. I'm sure they're both they're both great options. So if you're going back and putting a little bit of paint at the bottom of those shell shapes, then once you get a little bit in there, you can kind of go back and just grab a tiny bit of water, add it to the edge of the paint you just put down so it blends in a little bit better. Just if you want, just a little detail make it look more 3D, can be kind of fun. I have a question. Yeah. Um, can you mosh posh that? Say that again? Say mosh posh that. Say mosh pasta? Mosh posh. Mosh posh? Yeah. Boom, I said it. <laughs> Were you telling me to say it or were you asking? Yeah, I was asking if you could do that. Oh, like would this work with Mod Podge instead? Yeah. Um, After you've done the yeah, painting? Yeah, I, I think it would. I think it would. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it would. All right, uh, give me a thumbs up or show me your special guest appearance if you're ready for the next step. Not a soul, okay. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. So um, the, my crayon didn't um, do what yours did. Um, if I go over it again, um, you can try going over it again. I'm not sure if you already put paint on it, then I don't know. I don't know that it'll help, but it might lighten it a little bit. You could also, um, if your paint is still wet, you can paper towel. Huh? I'll use a darker crayon. Okay. You could also, if you have white acrylic paint, you could just go back later when we're done and put little white lines between and draw your okay. draw your design that way. I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe it matters how hard you press when you draw with your crayon. Some of my lines you can't really see either, but other ones you can. And so I'm thinking you have to, maybe you have to press pretty hard to make sure that there's enough wax on the paper um, so the paint doesn't go there. Always learning. Now, all I think of when I look at this shell is a chicken nugget. And now I need some <laughs> chicken nuggets and some pizza. And pizza. <laughs> yeah, junk food night. Yeah. All right, I'm checking in again. Give me a thumbs up or make a special guest appearance if you are ready for the next step, if your shell is painted. Hi, Jan. Almost ready. How's it going, friend? Good. Now she can hear me. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I want to show you something. <gasps> yeah, Andrea is ready. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, he looks really good. Good job, yeah. Andrea. It's me, Larry. 
Yeah, I love it. It looks great. <laughs> Thank We're going to take pictures at the end, okay? So bring them back in a few minutes. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, chimes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move us to the next step, I think. I feel like a lot of people are looking at me. So <laughs> I think it's time. Do it. We can always repeat. So the next step is going to involve your crayon. You want your crayon again. Okay. And what you want to do, I'm going to swap this out so I can show you what we're doing. So pretend this is a crayon. On your fins and the head and the tail. When you think about uh, those parts of a turtle, they're pretty rough, right? They're almost kind of scaly. So what you can do is you just make little scale swoops, kind of like a fish. Just little like, like mini half circles. With your crayon. like that and they can be totally different they can be more spread out do whatever you want whoa when i put my chin in here it looks like a witch chin <laughs> <laughs> and you want to do that with your crayon on each fin the tail and the head And make sure that you're pressing kind of hard with your crayon, because I think we're learning that if you don't press hard enough, it might not show up. So just keep that in mind. Can we use a colored pencil? Uh, if you want, yeah. It, it won't have the same effect, but you can definitely use whatever materials you have because uh yeah you can also try um use like if you just don't have a white crayon but you have like a yellow crayon or something you can do that okay Mm -hmm. Question, Katie. Yes, ma'am. So we're doing this on the on all the limbs and the head and the tail. Yes. Oh, I just broke my crayon in half. No. That makes this interesting. Uh, <laughs> here. Learn from me. Be nice to your special guest. <laughs> every time. Funny every time. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be here next month. <laughs> okay. Now, once you have 
your crayon scaly bits on your turtle limbs. <laughs> what a sentence. Um, you can go ahead and paint uh, the rest of your turtle. We're going to do another crayon thing around the turtle. So if you want to join me for that, then only paint the rest of your turtle and don't paint the background yet. Let's see. I'm going to go with a crayon. You're going to what? Are we going to use the crayon for something else on the paper? Yes. I'm going to go use get a crayon. Okay. Oh, did you make a, a, a mark on your head too? Yes, I did. Scaly bits, is that what you called them? Yeah, swoopy scaly bits. Scaly, swoopy scaly. <laughs> exactly. And remember, if you had trouble seeing your crayon before on your shell, then make sure to press harder when you're drawing for the body. This is quite the Frankenstein green. I'm going to use my, my one paper towel. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that better than the crayon, I dare say. Woo. Like, it doesn't really show up on camera, but it's like a nice, rough, rough looking arm. <laughs> <laughs> arm. Arm. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a little better. Spooky scary skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> and something I've just discovered for myself, if you're someone that's having a hard time seeing your crayon when you paint over it, is if you just grab a paper towel and very gently dab at different areas of your wet paint, it will lift some of the paint and have a similar look. It'll give it texture if the crayon didn't work for you or if you don't have a crayon. How's this? It looks awesome. <laughs> Does he have a name? Does the turtle have a name? Honey. Honey? Oh, I love that. That's sweet. That's so fun.
All right, give me a thumbs up or show me your special guest special guest appearance moment if you are ready for the next step ah. yes. i'm ready i heard someone's ready i see gabby's ready that one. beautiful beautiful thank you <laughs> Okay. I didn't get a lot of thumbs or crayons, but I'm getting a lot of stares, which makes me think we're ready. <laughs> so. Andrea, you're not even drawing. <laughs> that part too, is this? <laughs> so the next step is once again, gonna be with your crayon. Be careful because your paint might still be wet. So you got to work around that. But this is the last crayon moment. And what we want to do is around your turtle. Here, let me do my pencil example. So we're doing this in crayon. I'm just doing it in pencil real quick to show you. You just want to draw some wavy watermarks around your turtle. They don't have to be everywhere. They can be however you want them to be. There's no rules to this. And if there are, I don't know them. So <laughs> just however you want your watery waves to be. You could just draw some squiggles around your, your turtle with your white crayon. Ah. Okay, my crayon is officially two crayons. <laughs> officially died. Yeah. Once you're draw once you're done drawing in your wavy bits with your white crayon, um, make sure that your turtle is totally dry. Over. If your turtle isn't dry, wait a little bit until your turtle's dry. 
But once he's dry, you can go in and paint some blue around him for the water. <coughs> Such a cute turtle. At this point, maybe I should just name mine pizza. Name it what? Pizza. I don't know why I heard Petey and I'm like, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're like, sure. Can you do the background? Huh? How do you do the background? Um, you can just kind of fill it in. Something that I like to do sometimes is uh, put just clean water down first, um, like this. And then I'll drop paint in because it can make some cool, it can do some cool stuff like that and then kind of spread it out a bit more. Uh, but you can also just go in and do big strokes and fill it in. Did you put in um, the uh, crayons first? I did, yeah. How did you do that? So the crayon, you're just drawing with the crayon and whatever, uh, wherever you put crayon will be white. So like these white lines in the turtle shell, that's all crayon because um, the paint is, it's watercolor. So it's mostly water and the wax in the crayon repels water. So it'll just stay white instead of getting painted. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm learning about the crayon method, though, is you got to make sure that you draw hard enough so that there's enough wax. And also, it helps it show up if you go over it um, with 
like not a ton of water and paint because sometimes it can get a little washed out. Oops. Okay, I have to share something so random. Yeah. It's nothing to do with what you're doing, but it's so funny and random. I'm sitting here working on trivia for tomorrow. And I just read the question In which state do people celebrate the story of Mike, the headless chicken? <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's a winner right there. He's celebrating Colorado. I'm not going to put it on the quiz. Colorado. Oh, my God. <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, so funny. What do you guys think? Looks good right now. Gotta find you. Oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, I could, you know, I couldn't in the beginning. I could, I couldn't tell what I was seeing with the white stuff. And usually I had to use a crayon, but I had to also had to use my white pencil to do the rest. And, yeah. You did good. It all worked out. Thank you. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> it certainly helps. And just so you all know, that is the last step that I have for you. I've got no more surprises or tricks up my sleeve. No more special guests? No more special guests, not a one. I will say if you want, um, when uh, the water near your turtle is dry, or more dry, you can kind of go in with another layer of water and just go next to the turtle. And it'll kind of act as a shadow. So I went around and did that. Now there's this kind of line there. So then I'm gonna go get some water and put it next to it to blend it out. And it helps your turtle stand out in the water. Kind of makes it look like he's floating on top. Does anybody else want to share their turtle names? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Katie. It's mine. Beautiful. I love it. Does it have a name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to, had to use some, some of the some of the chalk because the ground wouldn't seem to. 
It's beautiful. Mama, that looks awesome. Yeah, I like your you shell. So cool. All right, everyone. That is the final turtle moment I have to share with you today. Um, thank you so much for painting with me. It's been a joy and I will see you next time. Have a beautiful Tuesday. Bye.